Welcome back to my channel, everybody. Today, we're going to give the 2021 Bowman Blaster a second shot. If you watched my most recent opening, it was a little bit less than desirable. Didn't hit any parallels, didn't hit any of the big name rookies, and it was just kind of a basic blaster box. So we'll hope that blaster box number two can make up for it. I think I cut this one a second ago, so it should be easier to open, but of course, I can't find the spot where I cut it. So let me go ahead and re- open it here so you can see uh from my previous video that the bowman blasters can be very very good but they can also be very very just kind of blah and unfortunately i think my first one was a little bit run-of-the-mill variety so we'll go ahead and try our luck here at blaster box number two we've got the official sticker there we'll have our 72 cards hopefully we can improve a little bit there you go box off to the floor you go hopefully we can improve a little bit uh, if you did not catch my video the other day, I did not hit a single parallel or a single big name rookie in the first blaster opening. So these are blasters I found at Walmart out in the wild, the last two that were on the shelf, and I was super excited to find them. Uh, so hopefully they can pay off a little bit and we can get something nice. So here we go. Gerald Geraldo Perdomo, Max Meyer, who was picked in the top five last year, and Yolbert Sanchez are the prospect cards are veterans Garrett Cole, Austin Meadows, Chris Bubik, Tyler Stevenson, who's done pretty well this year, and Anderson Tejada. Oh, we do have a green the first time. So already this box is going to be a little bit of an improvement over the last one. We've got a green, one of the Blaster exclusive green parallels, and that is a Dylan Carlson. He's having a really nice year. Still, uh, if you remember, he was my preseason pick for National League Rookie of the Year. This is number 297. If I can get that to focus, maybe. Maybe not. It's struggling a little bit. Kind of hard to catch it in the glare there, but it's 297 out of 399. So Dylan Carlson, right off the jump, has us already in a better spot than the last blaster box. We're one pack in. Corbin Carroll, number 95 prospect overall in this Bowman Scouts top 100. We've got ourselves a Trevor Larnack, who is now actually with the Twins, and Logan Gilbert, who's also up with the Mariners. So we are already doing better than the last box. Let me kind of adjust this where you can get all of the cards on camera. We've got our different stacks here. We've got the base cards, rookie cards, inserts, and then the chrome cards. Let's check out pack number two. Already, I'm already I'm going to do better than the last one. So we can only go up from here, right? Uh, Blake Walston, Drew Romo, Keani Cavaco are the prospect paper cards. Uh-oh, put that in the wrong stack. There we go. The base cards, Joey Bart, Nate Pearson, rookies, Xander Bogarts, Goldschmidt, Josh Bell, and Mookie Betts. Looks like we have a rookie of the year favorite kind of sneaking behind here. It is a rookie of the year favorite. Is this a Ryan Mountcastle? It is a Ryan Mountcastle. That's a nice one. I know my buddy Lamar Jackson uh, on YouTube will really, really like this one. He's a big Mountcastle fan out there in Maryland. So there's our second insert. I did not get any rookie of the year inserts in my... First blaster box, Nick Lodolo and Jeter Downs, who is part of the Mookie Betts trade. Probably the big prospect in the Mookie Betts trade, going from the Dodgers to the Red Sox, is our other prospect card. So here we go. We're doing well so far. We've got already a little bit of a different variety compared to what we had in the first blaster. Let's go ahead and check out pack number three. Don't see anything parallel-wise off the jump on this one. We have Brandon Marsh and a... Adenso Reyes, the first time I've seen his card, Bowman Paper. Prospect card, our base cards, Bregman, Abreu, Tatis, Rendon, Mountcastle again, and Christian Javier, who just got moved to the bullpen. So we have a talent pipeline. I did not see a talent pipeline in my box uh, in the most recent video, and this is the Detroit Tigers, which has some pretty high-level high talent in their minor league system. Riley Green was a first-round pick. Matt Manning, who is their next probably pitching prospect they'll call up. And then Zach Short, I don't know a lot about him, but it says he's a AAA. So there we go. We've got a talent pipeline card of the Detroit Tigers. Our Chrome cards, we have Jeremy Pena for the Houston Astros and Leo, Leover Aguero for the Pirates. I don't know anything about him, unfortunately. All right, we are halfway through, guys. We have three packs left. 36 cards to go. Still hoping for one of those big name rookies. Have not seen any of the Blaze Jordan. Have not seen Austin Martin. Have not seen uh, Mick Abel um, or any of those other top prospects. So Jeremy De La Rosa, none of those guys have 
made their debut yet in my blasters. We've seen this run of base cards before. We'll go ahead and set them there. We have a first Bowman Chrome, or not first Bowman, just a Bowman Chrome of Jaron Duran, who was first uh, was last year, I believe. And then Clayton Beater is our other Chrome card. So no firsts in that one. We have Drew Waters, probably the next big prospect for the outfield of the Atlanta Braves. Christian Robinson and Matthew Libertor, who was part of the uh, trade for Randy Rosarena going from Tampa Bay to St. Louis. Okay, we have two packs left. We have the one parallel so far, the green Dylan Carlson. Hopefully we can get at least one more parallel before this is over and we're done with our blasters. Although I do have some more coming in from Target. Uh, I was lucky enough to pick some on car up on Target a couple weeks ago, so maybe I can redeem myself on those if there's nothing else magical in here. Josh Young for the Texas Rangers. I believe he's still injured right now. Jake Vogel and um, Pete Crow Armstrong, who was a first-round pick out of high school last year, are prospect paper cards. The regular base cards, we've seen this run before. Evan White, Tavares, Jazz Chisholm, and Casey Mize. I've seen duplicates of that. Our first Bowman Chrome is a Scouts Top 100 for the Cincinnati Reds. That is Hunter Green, number 52. He was drafted number two overall a few years ago. Had to sit out for Tommy John surgery. He throws like 100 miles an hour. My buddy David M says he is killing it down at Double A right now with the uh, Chattanooga Lookouts. So hopefully he will be a successful uh, kind of reclamation project there after Tommy John. Here we go. We at least have one of our better prospects that we haven't seen any of these guys yet. Aaron Sabato, pretty nice first moment chrome there for Minnesota. A big power hitter, first baseman. And we have a Kansas City Royal, Jackson Coar, who could get called up at some point this year. He's been pitching really well in the minor leagues. I think it's just a matter of time. But there he goes. Sabato is the big one here. Number eight twins prospect already. Drafted in the first round. 27th overall in the most recent draft out of North Carolina and hit a home run every 9.3 at-bats in college. So Sabato is the best one by far of the first Bowman Chromes. We haven't seen Ma uh, Martin or De La Rosa, Blaze Jordan, Nick Abel, any of those guys. Maybe they'll be here in the last one, but I don't know. I don't see any colored parallels in this one yet either. We have Jordan Westberg, Tyler Freeman, and CJ Chatham as our paper prospect cards. And now we'll rush through these. Um, base cards, Acuna, Bieber, Christian Yelich. We have another one of these 1991 Bowman cards off-centered again, because that's how these are always seeming to be. Although this one's much better than the last one. Sixto Sanchez, who is unfortunately just had another setback. I don't know when he'll actually be available this year, if at all. Here we go. Ho, oh, ho, ho, ladies and gentlemen, we know who this is. We waited till the last pack, and we hit some last pack magic. There it is, the Austin Martin nice last pack magic and then our final card is going to be michael toglia but we finally hit the big chase card at least right now we'll see if he lives up to expectations the austin martin the number uh five overall pick who kind of fell it was very surprising that he fell to number five when baltimore took heston kerstad number two and then max meyer went to the marlins at number three uh the royals were sitting there at number four and they didn't know who to pick I'm, I'm, I, I should correct myself there. They had both on the table, Asa Lacey and Austin Martin, who were both kind of considered top three overall position or players, and the, the Royals went with Asa Lacey, and that left Toronto to happily gobble up Austin Martin with the fifth overall pick, which they probably never thought would be available. So there it is, guys. This blaster box is a definite redemption compared to the first one. We hit a few new inserts. We hit the talent pipeline. We hit the rookie of the year favorite. Um, we have two Bowman Scouts Top 100, Green and Corbin Carroll's behind there. We hit the one green blaster box parallel of Dylan Carlson. And then obviously the number one card right there, the Austin Martin. First Bowman Chrome is the highlight of this opening. So thank you so much for watching this one. Stick with me all the way to the end. I paid off at the end with that last pack magic. I'll be back with another video shortly. Got some more cards I can open here on my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Peace.